Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This is 1968 the 10 cent most likely at about uncirculated condition, briefly circulated coin with strong traces of mint luster. Mint mark D indicates that it was produced by Denver branch of some mint. Device elements are mostly well struck, fields display numerous dye polish lines around the Roosevelt's portrait. Main distraction is a pretty large dye chip on the nose. Reverse strike displays sharply detailed device elements. It, it very much looks like a full bands variety. I closely inspected it and upper and lower bands separate as far as I can tell. Over 480 million Roosevelt times were struck in 1968 in Denver. They are in abundance at circulated grades. 1968 D dimes become worth more than their face value at uncirculated grades with full bands on the torch. In mean state 66, they are worth $22, in mean state 67, $90, and in mean state 68, $800. But the most highly sought after 1968 issue is a proof San Francisco issue with missing mint mark S. This is a very coin in PR69 grade. The 1968 No S proof time takes the third place among the 100 greatest US modern coins by Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett. Where the authors write, any error in manufacture of a proof coin is not worth it because of its considerable amount of special care that is taken in their production. Indeed, proof coinage errors are rare across the board. Interestingly, 1968 was the first year that these proofs were struck at the San Francisco Mint. A small number, perhaps 2,000 pieces, were struck from die that had not been appropriately punched with the S mint mark. The present example displays a band of a golden orange color at the upper obverse, while the surfaces are otherwise brilliant. It was sold for $45,600 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, please make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you jump onto another video.